Section 4.3, Arithmetic in the Hindu-Arabic System. Each symbol is called a digit, which conveys two things, face value which is the inherent value of the symbol. Face value, and then we also have place value. Place value. Which is the power of the base that is associated with the position that the digit occupies in the numeral. So we're talking about the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and the thousands place. Continue and on. The symbol zero serves as a placeholder when one or more powers of the base are not needed. Expanded form uses exponents. To express the value of the digit in each position. We're going to write the numerals in expanded form. We're going to start with 924. 9 is in the hundreds place. 2 is in the tens place. 4 is in the ones place. 9 times 10 to the second. Remember, 10 to the second is 100, so that gives us 900. 10 to the first is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. And 4, 10 to the 0 is 1, so it's just 4. That is the expanded form of 924. 9 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 to the first plus 4 times 10 to the 0. 1,906. Start with the 1,000, so it's going to be 1 times 10 to the third. The 9 is in the hundreds place, so it's plus 9 times 10 to the second. 0 times 10 to the first, plus 6 times 10 to the 0. Forty-six thousand four hundred twenty-four. Four times ten to the fourth, plus six times ten to the third, plus four times ten to the second, plus two times ten to the first, plus four times ten to the zero. We have the question, what number is shown on the abacus below? The beads above this horizontal line here have five times the value of those below. This is the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds, the thousands, and the ten thousands. Looking at the ones column, we have one bead below the line and one above. So that one plus one times that five gives us six for the ones column. The tens column, ten times three is thirty. The hundreds column, there's one bead above the line, so it's going to be 100 times 5. And the thousands column, there are four beads below the line, so it's 1,000 times 4, 4,000. Adding the numbers together, 4,536 gives us our number that is shown on the abacus, 4,536. Draw an abacus that displays the number 26,049. We can think of this as our, we need to show 9 here, 4, 
zero, six, and two. Okay, our two is going to be two below. Our four will be four below. And then our digits that are over five. To get six, we need five up there and one there. And to get nine, we need five above and four below. Use expanded form to add 27 and 64. 27 is 2 times 10 to the first, plus 7 times 10 to the zero. 64 is 6 times 10 to the first, plus 4 times 10 to the zero. Just add straight down. 11 times 10 to the zero, plus 8 times 10 to the first. We're not going to have 11 times 10 to the 0, so we do need to regroup. 9 times 10 to the 1st plus 1 times 10 to the 0. The answer is 91. Use expanded form to subtract 256 from 695. 256 is 2 times 10 to the 2nd plus 5 times 10 to the 1st, plus 6 times 10 to the 0. 695, 6 times 10 to the 2nd, plus 9 times 10 to the 1st, plus 5 times 10 to the 0. We can't subtract 5 minus 6, so we do need to regroup. We're going to rewrite our middle term there with the 9 times 10 to the 1st. 6 times 10 to the 2nd, plus 8 times 10 to the 1st, plus 1 times 10 to the 1st, plus 5 times 10 to the 0. That 1 times 10 to the 1st, we're going to rewrite as 10 and add that to our 10 to the 0 column. It's going to be 6 times 10 to the 2nd, plus 8 times 10 to the 1st, plus 15 times 10 to the 0. Subtracting 2 times 10 to the 2nd, plus 5 times 10 to the 1st, plus 6 times 10 to the 0. Subtract each term. 4 times 10 squared, plus 3 times 10, plus 9. The answer is 439. That is section 4.3, arithmetic in the Hindu-Arabic system.